best of five finals after this. The winner plays Zenurchio. In the bottom right side of the map, it's going to be the Red Zerg player, though, Damaga. With his opponent in the upper right being none other than the blue tier player, Altaria, also known as Major. Anyways, oh man, I'm just at that point where my brain's turning into mush. <laughs> Lots of good CBTs in front of us, and I don't know why I'm not more hyped about it. I guess I, I just, the Terran in me wants Major to win, and even though, um, Damaga is playing exceptionally well, and he did. Let's be honest, that was a stupid game for both players. Game number one was not a game that you should model your ZBDs after, even if you're Zerg or Terran. But regardless, Damaga played well, he made good decision making, and I guess I can and do respect that. I just, I'm sitting here like, come on guys, let's get that major versus Nergio finals. Uh. I may actually just try and set that as a straight up show match sometime, if, if at all possible. But, anyways, uh, for major's sake, we'll see what he does. Three Raxes. Three Reapers on Central Protocol. This is about as expected as it gets. This and Orbital Shipyard are the two maps you should always expect Terran players to do this on. It's the one time I would even say a drone scout might be worth it just to reveal whether this is coming or not. But Major is going to be... I guess a little bit... I mean, game number one, let's not forget. That last game started off with a proxy, and it was two racks Reaper. And Tamaga might have this mindset, like, there's no way you would proxy me again. There's no way you would cheese me again after losing a game like that. So... If that's the case, then I don't know. Major just gonna walk all over him. I mean, this is this is this worked for Snoot. It's so gross how good and effective. Or no, it didn't. It almost worked for Snoot, I should say. Uh, but it works for both Zerk players most of the time. Uh, Geist, by the way, for the six-month resub. You guys can't see me, but I'm waving my hand. Thank you very much for that resub, sir. Uh, Reaper, of course, first one reveals itself. It's so hard to read this, though, as a, as a Zerg, because this first Reaper does not really mean anything. This could just simply be a regular scouting Reaper. No big deal. But, ugh, This one, two and three show up, and this becomes problematic. There's a second one. Of course, it's very important that Major doesn't lose any of these Reapers. I think what, it's safe to say once you're at about seven Reapers or so, you can afford to lose one or two as a mistake. But the first three to five are incredibly essential. You have to snowball with them. They just don't have the damage otherwise. And of course, the grenades add even more, each cooldown being very important to manage. Uh, just kind of dancing the Reapers around, really nice control out of Major so far as he avoids that queen damage. Now, she is a little bit low, and the second one joins the front lines, but with the Reaper grenades, they can just hit and run. Getting a little bit greedy, gotta be careful that one Reaper does lose one of them. This is a problem. This is not Rifkin being hyperbolic, but with speed not done yet, Major's still got a little bit of wiggle room to get in here and maybe pick off one of these queens. He's getting a little bit deep. He does snipe one of them. But he's starting to lose some of these Reapers. They're getting really low. He's getting really just bloodthirsty. And I don't know that I like that. As uh, that snowball effect that I mentioned really has to pile on hard. But this is this is a huge dedication. Again, stressing and emphasizing. If Major can't win the game with these Reapers, he's going to be kind of behind unless he causes enough damage. Which he has definitely not done yet. But that Queen Count stacked up. We got Ling Speed finished up. I mean... Major's actually just throwing away a lot of really random looking grenades, but it was like in anticipation of trying to hit some of these legs. He does kite around and get some good shots off, and now that the Reapers have piled up as big as they have, they can start getting on top of the legs. And, uh, it's not really transfused. There's like eight transfused, I guess. I, I do like that Damaga kept making queens, but. Uh, for major sake, he could just go through the main at this point. I mean, there is no creep connecting the main and the natural, and this happens a lot on every map. You don't see a lot of creep tumors thrown down in the natural base connect to the main or vice versa. If he could go to the main, the queens would be a little bit slow to respond, but major instead is just going to keep pressuring inside the front, which I don't love because he's going up high ground into a ramp. Uh, he's going to send one reaper off to go scout. I like this, though. This is a good move. Now, the links anticipate this, and they're going to try and intercept. But it's not damage that Major's doing back here. It's, again, the attempt to scout. Ah, uh, Reaper's gonna get picked off. This guy's not gonna get to scout with these patrolling lanes. So, Major's playing pretty blind right now, which is very scary. Because, as I mentioned before, some players will go for Roaches and Ravagers to follow this up instead of just lings with speed. To see Banelings come off the back end as a response to 3 Rex Reaper is really, really uncommon and strange. What is it? 
Shots getting fired. Uh, Queens, of course, gonna get thrown around. Now the random grenades are just kind of anticipation of something coming down the ramp. It also keeps the queens back, but I think it was hoping to hit a creep tumor too with it as well. Scan goes out of the main. Big reveal through the baneling nest. So he's going to see it jiggling, so he knows it's baneling speed. But oh, major, oh, major. That's not good. That's not good. He gets surrounded. The reapers get picked off. Back at home, he's got to get a wall up. He's got a bunker, but it's not part of a wall. There are marauders, which might be able to soak some of these banelings, but nothing's going to beat out tanks and widow mines. And unfortunately, major doesn't really have the option for either. Uh, the reactor comes down for what I'm assuming is going to be Liberators, which I'm not actually a big fan of. Uh, the bunkers coming down are really good and a really smart choice if he can actually finish them in time. That's a lot of Banelings coming in. Well, they don't have speed yet. They're about to at about 3, 2, 1-ish. It doesn't matter. They still roll through the bunker. No problemo. Now, knocking off SCVs is probably smarter, I think, if the manga had gone for a lot of Major's Marines. He would have crushed, and the counterattack, or not, sorry, the follow-up attack would have flooded in and dominated. That ended up being a pretty good defense for Major. Like, that looks scary. So, like, oh, everything blew up. That can't be good for the Terran. What way can that ever be good for the Terran? But he didn't lose much for it. And the SCVs, okay, they're all, like, one hit from dead, but they're all alive. Major definitely took the better end of that, uh, that defensive engagement. Now keep in mind, Damag is still in three bases, which kind of sucks. Or sorry, two bases, excuse me. Which kind of sucks. Every Zerg player wants to be in a third, if for no other reason than larva production alone. We're actually seeing Damaga start to bank a lot of money, and I don't think that's because he was planning to go for a sick expansion timing. He just doesn't have the larva to keep dumping 600 minerals at a time. Oh, what's up, Marauder? I was wondering where the shots were going to <laughs> Out of the front. Now the scan goes down, this time over the natural base, he sees no gas is taken. These are such important scans for Major, they don't seem like much, I know, but realizing that there's no gas is taken tells him there's not going to be any air to worry about. He already knows there's not a third base because the natural base was barely taken and the Reapers were camping outside there for so long. Major knows that this is still just a big baneling zergling all in. And that's really key to how he's planning to continue in this game. Because if he scouted Mutalist, then he starts seeing preparation for anti-air, and that's not necessarily always the same thing you want to have for surveillance. He can afford to start going for Widow Mines, potentially, just crazy drops. He also knows he cannot salvage these bunkers because of that scan. Damaga, though, are you thinking of a third man? It seems like he still just wants to stick with us all in, and... <laughs> Almost in like a Hyun style fashion. Feels like you might just go like 80 Banelings deep to win the game. I mean, Banelings aren't that effective versus Marauders, but they're also not effective versus Roaches. You would see them in ZBZs because the splash damage is still valuable. Kind of feels a little bit similar to what's happening here, but Major cleans up all that creep. This is going to start forcing Damaga's hand. He does have a spread of units. He's going to come in from behind and cut off the reinforcements. He's going to be able to take the engagement head on here directly. Banelings catch the retreating Marines. The Splitzer Major are not good enough. Back at home, he's falling back to those bunkers. The Widowmine doesn't get to go down. There's almost nothing inside these bunkers. There's still not a wall off. Major's got 700 minerals and no wall off here. This is scary. This is dangerous. I don't know what he's poking out with the Marauders for. He's feeling really bold and really risky. But he does kill most of the Banelings, I guess. So with primarily just Zerglings against Marines with plus one with medevac support, I can see why he's moving out. GG's going to get called. And Major is going to tie up the series 1-1. Another ace match! Ace 